Today on Engineering Newswire, we're building a life-sized Lexus with cardboard, breaking through the ice with another luxury super yacht for the, not, well not, it's not for the poor, and fighting cancer in 30 seconds or less. Lexus has just unveiled a life-size recreation of its Lexus IS that is made completely out of precision cut cardboard. 1,700 individually shaped pieces of cardboard that are 10 millimeters thick. The car was inspired by origami and was made simply as an homage to craftsmanship. The cardboard car features a fully fitted interior, functioning doors, headlights, and rolling wheels. And it can actually be driven as it is powered by an electric motor mounted on a steel and aluminum frame. So it's not just cardboard. According to the company, the process presented several challenges and much refinement. A digital 3D model was digitally rendered in 10 millimeter slices, which provided the 2D profiles needed for laser cutting the sheets. To make sure that the sheets were assembled in the right sequence, each sheet was given a reference number before being glued into place with a water-based wood glue. The entire process took about three months, probably because the glue had to sit and dry for 10 minutes after each application. But this isn't the company's first foray into origami. To reach the status of Takumi, or artisan, Lexus interior craftsmen must fold an origami cat using only their non-dominant hand. Just impossible. Although the Mediterranean and Caribbean seas and all their islands only amount to 6% of the world's coastline and 1.5% of the ocean's total surface area, 90% of luxury super yachts never venture any farther. According to Dutch shipyard group Damon, if you want to go off the beaten path, you'll need a Sea Explorer, the world's first purpose-built, polar cold compliant range of expedition yachts that can travel to remote tropical and polar destinations. The range debuted at the Monaco Yacht Show on September 23rd, with three sizes available from 65 to 100 meters. The largest is capable of traveling at a speed of up to 60 knots with 30 guests and a crew of 50. The models also feature a CX bow to slice through rough waves, in addition to an ice-breaking stern and reinforced polar class hull, which can break through ice caps up to 35 inches thick. If its ice-breaking capabilities weren't enough, the Super Yacht also features a dive center, steam room, sauna, fully equipped gym, sky lounge, tenders, submersibles, and up to two helicopters. Plus, the yachts can enjoy up to 40 days of full luxury service without port call. There's no word on the exact price of the yachts yet, and honestly, I don't even think I want to know. A UC Davis research team has set out to build the world's first total body PET, or PET scanner, that could cut your time spent lying motionless in the large contraption from 20 minutes to 30 seconds. The team received the Transformative Research Award, worth a cool $15.5 million as part of the National Institutes of Health High Risk High Reward Program, which supports new, bold, and untested ideas. The project is called EXPLORE, all caps, it's a big thing, EXPLORE, and will address current limitations in scanning technology, which exposes the patient to more radiation because the scans are done in 20 centimeter segments. According to lead researchers, Simon Cherry, a distinguished professor of biomedical engineering, and Ramsey Badawi, professor of radiology, by seeing the entire body simultaneously, their scanner could drop the radiation dose by a factor of 40. I just find it, I just find it hard to remain still for so long. I'm just, I am sorry, Dr. Brian, I tried, I tried my best, I'm, I'm claustrophobic. The technology would have great implications in diagnostics, treatment, and also drug development as physicians could diagnose a disease and then follow its trajectory in a way that was never before possible. I mean, once again, claustrophobic patients everywhere rejoice because, man, that scanner is a tight spot. A tight spot. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.